Okay, sorry about the crappy audio quality. I have no idea why it's like this now. Um, I started using a new program. That's probably it because with cheese, whenever I uploaded a video to YouTube, my audio and video were really bad, uh, really badly off. With this, it's synchronized, but really crappy uh, audio. I don't really know which one's worse, so let me go with this. Okay, so uh, I haven't made a lot of videos recently, but that's because I uh, switched to OS X. Well, I wanted to do a boot, Ubuntu and OS X because, you know, or Hackintosh, because uh, I needed it for iMovie, GarageBand, and iTunes, because there's this weird bug with uh, iTunes uh, alternatives for Linux that when you uh, when you write stuff to a fourth generation iPod, all the album artwork is deleted, which is kind of annoying. So um, while I was um, trying to do a boot, I accidentally wiped my entire hard drive, and I had lost my Ubuntu disk, and I couldn't get Wi-Fi working, so I could work on that. And then I finally got all that fixed, and then I went to the Ubuntu website to download um, Intrepid Ibex.iso. But uh, I saw they had released the Jaunty beta, and I had used the Jaunty Alpha before, but it was very buggy and crashed, so I figured I'd give this a try. And um, it, it's very good. The Jaunty beta is very good, which is what my next video, what this video is going to be about. But, uh, so I'm going to start making videos again, and I was su kind of surprised by how my most recent video, the Bare Naked Ladies One Week, got so popular. I mean, obviously it wasn't me, it's not my work, but I didn't think it could so popular, and I don't know why YouTube hasn't removed it yet, but this video is a review of the Jaunty Beta. There's a few things that are not so good about it, but um, I'll show you I'll show an overview, so here it is. Alright, so as I said earlier, this is a review of the Jaunty Beta. Um, there are a few things that I'd like to start off with. First of all, my uh, favorite feature, well, one of my favorite features of Ubuntu is no longer enabled by default, and that is um, Control-Alt-Backspace being to log out. That is no longer enabled because a few people complained about it. They said that it should not be put in an end user uh, a, a, a operating system that wants to be mainstream. I think that is a little crap, but it is possible to enable again. The, the code is simply sudo don't zap disabled. Or is that false? Yeah, yeah, disabled. And you hit enter, and you have to log out, log back in, and then it'll work. Okay, that's the first thing I wanted to mention. Um, next is they have a new theme enabled by default. And I thought that the old themes, Dark Room, Dark Room was okay, but Human was just ugly. But I, I really like this new theme. It's called Sand. And it, it, they didn't have this in uh, they didn't have this in the, in the alpha. It's very, uh, very clean, I guess you could say. So it's black. It's a uh, different scroll menu. See, where would I have the scroll bar? Sorry, it's a bit slow because I'm recording myself and my desktop. Um, okay, here. See, the scroll bar is, uh, I, I like it. It's much cooler looking. Okay, and um, I guess you can't really tell, but... The, uh, because I'm recording, but Compiz is much uh, smoother. The the movement is much smoother. And it came with two new wallpapers and a, a solid color, but I don't really think I should count that. Um, and there's this cool animation when you change between wallpapers. It kind of fades out and then fades back in. See here, uh, this is the one that comes uh, default. And then there's this other one, and as you can see, it kind of fades. Like, woo. See, it fades. Uh, maybe you can't tell because of that, but fades back. One thing that I think is kind of annoying, they still haven't changed their icon theme. I remember they uh, they have th this theme, I believe, was originally posted on GNOME or GNOME look. Uh, 
and it had different icons and I don't really like the human icons they're not very good looking but actually it comes with uh, more than just this uh, the sand for themes it also comes with dark room obviously but then it also has a theme called new wave I guess it's relatively, um, relatively like sand. A few differences, though. These are white. I mean, the, yeah, the menus are white, which I'm not a big fan of, but you could be. I don't know. And then dust, which is the one that I had installed when I started this video. Okay, and then um, this is called Dust Sand, which kind of has the same idea as um, human and then human, I mean, uh, uh, satanic and then, uh, well, if you've used Ubuntu Satanic, they have two different themes, one that's all black and then one called something recant, I can't remember quite what it's called, but it's so that it's got the same basic appearance as, as, uh, as Dust. But it's called dust sand because um, it, it, it's going to be easier to view um, internet menus. But um, I can't really think of anything else. There's not a whole. Oh, right. They now instead of they, they use uh, growl for notifications instead of whatever they were using. For instance, when I move my volume scroller here like this that's growl and if um, I have if I have software updates to install it uses that I think it's kind of cool although it's a bit slow because it's a different application but maybe that's just my computer I use Intel cards they aren't exactly fabulous but uh, there aren't a whole lot of changes that um, are viewable, but I like it. it it's newer. Um, it, it's cooler looking. I don't suppose it's very important, but um, I guess it's just a better looking interface. So that's my review of Jaunty.